Good day, welcome to Endurance Room. Today, we're looking at a two plush Palatka shelter setup. For tall guys, two people, people with dogs. <laughs> I've run the plush Palatka in a number of different formats as far as shelter goes over the last several months. From single Palatka shelters to multiples of three and four. When I'm using two Palakas, I commonly use what would be considered an A-frame or a cabin style configuration, basically two lean-tos mirroring each other. For a single shelter, I'll often use either a single lean-to or a flying diamond type configuration depending on the weather. For a two Palaka setup, the A-frame cabin style configuration, it's a great shelter, it goes up really quick and I can throw it up with just my ridge line and some tent stakes. Something that I don't like about it though is if I was going to use a fire, I've got my paracord ridge line running directly underneath the opening, which is it's not quite optimal. Predominantly, you're open on two sides. So I've come up with a design with two palakas that will let you be enclosed on three sides, give you a good bit of coverage for two people and gear, and it doesn't take a lot of time to set up or equipment. Check it out. To start it off, I'm just gonna run my paracord ridge line. I set the ridge line about chest height. I typically run them a little bit lower when I'm doing my other shelters, like plow point or even the A-frame. But with this one, you want it a little bit higher. I'd say at least four feet off the ground. I've already set my palakas up by running some cordage in between them and fastening them together on one side, running from grommet through the buttons to the, the grommets on the bottom. That'll give you a secure seam at the roof. Now I'm taking the center grommet where the flockas are overlapping, running my prusik loop down through the grommet, and using a stake to toggle it off. The next step is to take the bottom two grommets at the joint, pull them, pull them back, set your tension, stake it down. Then take the back two corners. You don't want to pull them in line, but rather pull them back at a slight angle. This will give you some height and ground clearance for the rear of your shelter. So it's just a slight angle. which lifts these, these back corners up. If you run it a straight line, the corners will be laying flat to the ground and you'll lose a ton of room. So here it is all set up. I've got a grabber space blanket, military space blanket in the bottom to give you an idea of the floor space. That's a five by seven. It's probably about nine feet from end to end. And height wise, it's about four feet up off the ground. So you could do this with a stake, but I've just got the paracord ridge line running today. It gives you a nice opening to come in and out of your shelter. You can put your fire right there. It gives you a good bit of coverage. There, there's room for both of us underneath here. There's room for the dog at the end of the shelter. And we've got room to tuck our gear up in. And this is with only two palakas, so it's pretty good. I definitely think I prefer this over the A-frame just because of the control over two openings um, with a fire out front and maybe a windbreak as a, an extra barrier. Like that would be a pretty ideal setup. 
given the nature of the palakas, this actually holds quite a bit of heat. So if you have your fire out front, like it'll be toasty warm. And on a, a day like today, it's probably about like 78 degrees. Like this is a little warm to be sitting under it. So check this out. To get a little more airflow, all you do is unstake one of the front corners. You've got more airflow and you've got two sides of protection. There's still a good bit of coverage underneath there. And then as the night progresses, it gets colder. You just put down the other side and you've got a great protective shelter. Right on guys, hope you enjoyed. This was just a quick look at a two plush Palaka shelter setup. It gives you three sides of coverage. It's pretty easy to set up and it lets you run a fire right out front in your opening. Mm -hmm.